All right, Shalom. First off, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Achak, Wadash, double honor to our apostles, the elders of GMS, unto uh, the elect, do the work in sincerity and in the truth. Shalom. Uh, this is uh, GMS Precepts, Nazar Chad here. And real quick, um, you know what? I just decided I'm going to name this video. If you need more fear, uh, watch this, right? Because we, we all need a healthy dose of fear of the Lord. And this this video, I mean, I can't show I can't show the video. This was sent to me on a group chat I'm in. Um, this is the article about it. This is from the New York Post. It says, "Boy, 17 run over in NYC after falling off top of a parked trailer." What this little nigga was doing on top of a trailer, I don't know. But the video that I got was, he, uh, you know, he was face down brain smushed and his heart i don't know how it got out of his chest but it was on a side of the road still beating you know what i'm saying still beating man if that doesn't give you an you know i, I mean words can't can't justify it you gotta see it um but <laughs> just just take my word for it that gave me a extra dose of fear so even though i mean this video says you need you know you need fear watch this video uh and you can't see the video because i'm not trying to you know i'll get a strikey strike but just take my word for it um that was a fearful video and it, it made me fear the lord more which which is healthy right a, a good dose a good level of fear of the lord and this is why people are in a position that we're in right now, because we don't have a healthy fear of the Lord. But that fear of the Lord, that fear of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you best believe, is 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 coming back. Okay? You know what? Before I read, let me get a let me get a uh what is that? Corinthians. Uh persuade men. I believe that's uh It might be Second Corinthians, but let's check five, uh, First Corinthians. Five, nope. It might be Second Corinthians. I'm sorry, Second. Uh, all right, let me just persuade. Here it is, 2 Corinthians, or I was right there. 2 Corinthians 5 and 11. It says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay? So we, you know, uh, um, the, the reason why we do what we do is because we fear the Lord. Right? And the scriptures speak about fearing the Lord is the beginning of what? Beginning of wisdom. Because when you have a healthy fear of the Lord... You're going to do your best to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Because there are consequences for not following the law, statute, commandments, right? And this is one of them. This nigga, like I said, it doesn't go into, I'm going to read this article. It doesn't go into what he was doing, what the hell he was doing. He's probably doing a TikTok dance. You know, these young niggas doing a TikTok dance on top of a trailer and then fell off. What the hell he was doing on top of a trailer, I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, Matthew, I'll just read it. Get this shit out of here. Um, it says a 17 year old boy was killed in a freak mishap in the Bronx early Monday when he was standing on top of a parked trailer, lost his balance, and landed under the wheels of a passing truck. So he was on top of a trailer doing whatever, fell off as a truck was, was passing by. Uh, and then it said, Matthew, I'll read on. Um, and then he got pinned. All right, Daniel Hernandez of Manhattan fell fell from the top of the box trailer towards the roadway. It's kind of hard to understand how this is worded. Fell from the top of the box trailer towards the roadway, landing on the moving tractor trailer's low boy trailer, uncovered rear tandem wheels. Now, I googled low boy, and this is a low boy. Damn. Okay, this is a low boy without the, you know, without the, the truck. So somehow he got pinned, 
you know, got smushed between it. He he got stuck. Let me just keep reading. I mean, this was this was a gru. Whoa, wow, this is a way to go. This is a gruesome death. You know what? Hebrews ten and thirty one. It says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. I don't know what this dude did. I don't know what his parents did. But this was definitely judgment, man, on a high degree. Okay? It was unclear what the teen... Yeah, see? The, you know, they, they don't even know. It was unclear what the teen was doing atop the trailer or what caused him to fall. His body was pinched between the rotating rear wheels before being run over. The tractor trailer's operator, a 42-year-old man, stayed on the scene. No charges have been filed in the incident, police say. So... Man, this dude uh really got it, man. He 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 got pinned. Oh, yeah, and then I don't like I said, I don't know how it happened, but his his heart, uh, I saw the video. His heart was on the side of the road. I'd say about 12 feet from him. Right? 8 to 12 feet from the body. And uh his heart was still beating. So when it's <clears throat> when this, you know, when the guy that was recording it it, it you know it just you know it, was, it probably it, it just happened you know and they said the guy that ran him over stayed on the scene no charges have been dropped so it's not the driver's fault it's a kid like I said I don't know what the hell he was doing he was on top of a trailer probably tiktoking and, 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 and fell off and um hey got judged 17 year old okay um, but yeah, you know, if you need fear, if you need fear, because a lot of people don't understand what death, once you realize, once you see death, right, you really understand the the anger of the Lord. And, this, and, and, the, and the Most High was really angry with him or angry, angry with his parents. Okay, because we know that's how the Most High judges too, you know. Let me close out on that one. That's John. Is it 10 or 9? I think it's 9. Yeah. Let me go. It's 9, right? I'm going to just. Uh, I'm going to start at 1. It says. um, I'm going to start at. I'm going to go to the. You know what? I'm going to start at 1. John. St. John 9 and 1. And, and as you. How wish I pass by. You saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciple asked him, asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind, right? So he, so their disciples are asking him, um, you know, because uh, that's a harsh judgment, man, to be blind, born blind, not being able to see. They understood that, damn, this dude got judged, was he was, and he also understood reincarnation, right? So it's like. Damn, was did, did was he wicked in his past life, or or was it his parents? Verse three: How wish I answered? Neither, uh, uh, neither hath this man sinned, nor his parents, but the works of the Most High should be made manifest in him. So, um, in this case, in this situation, it wasn't that he was wicked or his parents were wicked. It was just that to show uh, uh, the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai through through. You know, um, by by through Yahweh Shai healing, you know, uh, healing this blind man, right? So, like I said, I don't know what, what this what this little nigga did or what his parents did, but this is a harsh, harsh judgment. Okay. Uh, and Job says, "What whoever perishes, who, who whoever perisheth, being innocent." Okay. All right. So that's you know real quick. Uh, Lord, one of your brothers and sisters were edified until the next show. Shalom.